Hi, Marcus Chiracos. I'm a guitarist based here in LA. I do a lot of film and television work here. And today I'm going to talk about how to read horizontal lines on chord diagrams for the guitar. Uh, first of all, you've, you've probably, you've all seen these. Um, basically, there are diagrams where you have the guitar represented vertically, right? If you see a thick line at the top of the diagram that stands for the nut, that's this part. The next horizontal line would be fret one, fret two, fret three. Usually these might be, uh, might uh, encapsulate maybe three or four frets at the most, or maybe five if you're doing something, let's say a scale shape or a chord uh, shape that sp spans that far. But uh, just remember that the strings are represented vertically. Here's E6 e to your left, right, and then A5 to the right of that, D4, G3, B2, E1. You'll find E6 on th at the left of your diagram and E1 to the right, right? Horizontally, again, these refer to the frets, fret 1, fret 2, fret 3 in this case if you're playing in open position. Okay, now let's say we're isolating something in the seventh position. <coughs> you would see a number 7 to the side of the, of the uh, diagram telling you where the seventh fret is. That means the next horizontal line would be fret 8 for example, fret 9, fret 10, fret 11, however far uh, the, the chord diagram spans. Um, so basically there's two variations on this. You either have a thick line here at the top, which, which means that this is the nut, you're in open position, or you'll have a number, number 7, number 9, which tells you where the uh, chart begins. So once again, horizontal lines are uh, frets, uh, vertical lines are the strings going from E6 to E1. <clears throat> I'm Marcus Chiracos. This has been uh, interpreting the horizontal lines on a chord diagram.